hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel coding lifestyle for you in this video we will learn how to create GUI calendar so here you can see we can select a month whichever month you want and here you can select a year and then you can click on this go button and you will be getting the calendar for that month and year suppose if i want to see the calendar for may 2021 so here I can mention 2021 and click on this go button. You can see this is the calendar for month 2021. If you are new and you don't have Python and PyCharm installed on your system, you can check the video link in the description where I have explained step by step how to download and install Python and PyCharm IDE. Let's get started. Firstly, I will be importing tkinter module which will help us to create GUI part. So I'll write from tkinter import asterisk. This line means that we are importing all the classes and methods which are present inside this tkinter module. After that, we can create a window with the help of tk class. So we just have to create object of this tk class and our window will be ready. So I'm giving object variable name as root but we will not be able to see that window to keep that window on hold on loop so that it is visible to us we have to use a method of this tk class that method is main loop now if i run you will be able to see a window after that let's make this window non resizable so that this maximize button is disabled and we will not be able to maximize this window so i'll use another method root dot resizable and here I will pass false value for the width and the false value for the height. After that, let's provide a background color to our window. So root dot config method and here background will be yellow. Let's run. You can see the maximize button is disabled and the background color is changed to yellow. After that, let's create a month label. So I'll write month label and I'll be using a label class. This label will be inside my root window. The text on this label will be month. Then I will provide font to this text. The style will be Arial. Size will be 12 and it will be bold. Then I will provide background color to this label, yellow. After creating the label, now we need to grid this label so that we can see that label on our window so month label dot grid method and here we need to pass row and the column value since this label is the first thing getting added on my window so we have to mention row 0 and the column 0 but if you don't mention anything still it will be row 0 and column 0 only let's run so you can see the month label over here the window size is very small don't worry as soon as we will be adding labels buttons and text area inside this window its size will automatically increase next we need to create year label so i will copy this month label and i will paste it here the year label will be similar so only the object variable name will change here this one will be year label then the text will be changed to year after that here we need to mention row number will be 0 and the column will be changed to 1 because I want this year label just next to this month label. Let's run. You can see we got this month label and then this year label. Now we need to create a spin box just below these labels. Here firstly we will create month spin box. And I will be using a spin box class. This spin box will be inside my root window. After that it will have values from 1 to 12. And then we can grid it. So month spin box dot grid method. Here row will be 1 and column will be 0. Row here is 1 because it has to be just below this month label. Let's see. So here we got our spin box with values from 1 to 12. Let's 
decrease some width here so here i will mention width equals to 8 then let's change the font also style will be arial size will be 10 and it will be bold like this in the same way let's create ear spin box so i will copy this spin box Control c and i will paste it here now this one will be ear spin box so here i will change object variable to ear spin box and it will have values from 1996 to 2500 and then the row will be one only the column will be one let's see so ear spin box has values from 1996 to 2500 let's provide padding between these two spin box horizontal padding so here and here we can mention pad x equals to 10 like this now let's create a go button just after this ear spin box so i'll give object variable name as go button and i'll be using a button class to create this button this button will be inside my root window the text on this button will be go and then i'll provide font to this text it will be the same font style will be arial then size will be 12 and it will be bold and now let's grade this so go button dot grade method it will be graded at row 1 column will be 2 and then some horizontal padding of 10 let's see so we got this go button here next we need to create text field so just after this go button i'll create text field variable and i'll be using text class to create this text field this text field will be inside my root window after that i will provide width as 24 and then the height as 8 and the color for the text that will be inserted inside this text field will be of red color now let's grade it text field dot grade method row here will be 2 column will be 0 and then we will pass column span equals to 3 column span means how many column spaces this text field will take it will take three column spaces let's run here you can see this text field is taking three column spaces so this spin box is at column 0 then this is at column 1 then this is at column 2 so this text field is taking these three column spaces if i remove this column span from here then you will see the effect let's run so you can see this text field is now taking only one column space so from here the column one is started and then this is column two so i want this text field to take three column spaces so that is why i am passing column span here now what i want when i click on this go button i want to see the calendar for month one and year 1996 for that i have to pass a command to this go button so here i will pass a command equals to month underscore calendar this is basically a function that will be called whenever you will press the go button so i will define this function just after this import line so def month underscore calendar we need to get month and year from these two spin box right so i will use month spin box dot get method to get whichever number a user will select into some variable and this is that variable month in the same way we need to get year so i'll write year spin box dot get method and this will return as the year which the user selects so here i will store that in a variable year this get method will return as a number in the form of a string so i have converted that to integer like this in the same way this year spin box will return us year in the form of a string so i have converted that to integer and that value will be stored in this month and this year variable now we can get the calendar with the help of calendar module so let's import it import calendar and here 
we can use this module calendar dot month method of this module and to this month module we can pass the year number and the month number which is already inside these two variables and this will return as the calendar that we can store in some variable data and now we can insert this data variable onto my text field so i'll write text field dot insert method and i will insert this data let's see suppose i want to get calendar for january month of year 1996 so i'll simply click on this go button and here you can see i got this calendar here in the same way if you want to get calendar for 2002 and the month is may you can simply click on this go button see you are getting another data just after this previous data so what i want we should get the data after deleting the previous data if there is already present there so i'll write text field dot delete method and from starting till end i will delete everything so here i will pass from 0, 0.0 till end so this is the starting index and till end i will delete everything first of all and then i will do the insertion of the data let's see once again if i click on this go we are getting this calendar here and if i select some other year and some other month let's click on this go you can see the previous data is deleted and now this new data is inserted here i hope you understood this that's it in this video. Thank you for watching.